Okay, I'm going to go through this lesson fairly quickly as to not um, have it drag out for too long. I'm following this worksheet that you have access to on the side, but I don't need you to, to fill it out. Um, other than the chart at the bottom, it's a good thing to have as a um, reference. So the three variables that can be changed in this simulation are temperature, composition, and thickness. And so we're looking at plate tectonics and we're looking at different types of crust here. So there's continental crust. And if I wanna make my plate match that, I'm gonna go ahead and show density and temperature. It obviously needs to be much thicker. It looks like it needs to be a little less dense and notice the less density makes it float up, which is really nice. It looks like it needs to be a little bit warmer to match in color and that heat also makes it rise up um, just a little bit, maybe a little less silica. So I'm pretty close there. So continental crust, he is known for being warm. This has more silica, so more sand compared to more iron. Um, so more silica, so it's less dense. And then the thickness is fairly thick. If I want to match it to oceanic crust, well, notice the thickness is much thinner. The composition has to have a lot more iron, and it's much cooler than I have it here. Um, and so to look at that, the temperature is cool much more iron and much thinner. And that's how we um, distinguish between the two different types of crusts. And so those are sort of those questions that I've gone through. So now I wanna look at this plate motion. So for plate motion, I'm gonna flip over to this tab here. I need some new crust. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each of these types of crust and I'm gonna follow this. One's gonna go on the left side, one's gonna go on the right side. We're gonna do convergent boundaries. I'm going to go through this um, rather quickly so that we can, you can see, you can always pause if you need to. But I'm going to put continental crust on the left, like it says there. I'm going to put continental crust on the right, like it says there. Uh, I'm going to choose convergent. It's in automatic mode. And I'm going to turn the labels off for this because we don't need that right now. And I'm going to hit play. And we're going through 35 million years really quickly here. And so it moved through it. And so... This first line won't make as much sense to you as it will once I, I answer the other one. So which crust is denser? It's neither. Which crust subducts? Again, that's neither. Do non-volcanic mountains form? Yes, this is forming mountains right here, even though it's a little hard to tell that that's what's going on. Does a trench form? No. On which crust do volcanoes form? There's none that are formed. Okay. Now, let's... Get some new crust. I'm going to put continental crust on the left side. My right side crust will be old ocean crust. So I know that that first one didn't make a whole lot of sense, but I also know that it makes more sense as we go through this. And so we're going to let this one play out and see what happens here. And so which crust is denser? Well, it's the old ocean crust. That's the one that went down, so that's the one that's denser. Which crust subducts? This is subduction now that you see it. So subduction is going underneath. We didn't have that before. So that old ocean crust subducts. Do non-volcanic mountains form? No. Does a trench form? This right here, this little V right here, this is the trench. And then on which crust do the volcanoes form? They form on the continental crust. So those are the volcanoes. The next one has me reverse it and put the continental crust on the left and the old ocean on the right. And I'm going to play this out again. And you can see old ocean, continental. So which crust is denser? That old ocean, again. Which crust subducts? Again, it's that old ocean. Do non-volcanic mountains form? No. Uh, does a trench form? Yep, that trench is right there. And on which crust do the volcanoes form? They form on the continental crust. The next one we're gonna do is continental and young ocean. So we're gonna put that continental crust on the left, the young ocean on the right. We're gonna play that out so that we can see what happens. Which crust is denser? The young ocean is denser. The young ocean subducts. Do non-volcanic mountains form? No. Does a trench form? Yes. On which crust do volcanoes form? It forms on that continental crust. So we're doing all convergent boundaries here. And now we're going to go ahead and reverse that. Put that continental crust on the left and that young ocean crust on the right. We'll play that out. So again, 
which crust is denser. It's that oceanic crust that's denser, so young ocean this time. Which crust, crust subducts. It's always your denser one, so that's your, your young ocean. Do non-volcanic mountains form? New. No. Does a trench form? Yes, it does. And on which crust do the volcanoes form? It forms on that continental crust. So we're sort of getting the hang of it. We have one more option that we need to do. We need to put this old ocean on the left and the young ocean on the right. And let's see what happens when those two converge, because now it's ocean to ocean. Aha. So which crust is denser? The old ocean crust is denser. Which crust subducts? The old ocean. Do non-volcanic mountains form? No. Does a trench form? Yeah, that trench forms again. And on which crust do the volcanoes form? On the young ocean. So now we have an island chain, uh, a volcanic island chain. This is not Hawaii. Hawaii is a hot spot. This is the Aleutian Islands that form this way. And just to give it um, a check like we did all the other ones, let's put the young over here, the old over here when we switch sides. Let's see what happens. Again, um, the uh, did I do did I do that right? Because my old ocean was supposed to subduct. I think I did that backwards. My old ocean has to go on the right. My young ocean has to go on the left. Let's try that. There we go. Now I know I have it right. So young ocean has to go on the left. Old ocean on the right. The old ocean is always the densest. Young ocean is the next dense, continental is the least dense, which crust subducts. Again, it's that old ocean one that's going to subduct. Do non-volcanic mountains form? No. Does a trench form? Yes, it does. And on which crust do the volcanoes form? On the young ocean. Let's move on to the next page. The relative motion of all convergent plate boundaries is towards each other. In your AP exam, when you're writing answers, feel free to draw actual arrows in uh, to explain what you're saying, because this is moving apart and this is moving apart, and that's very different. Um, so it's hard to sometimes say in words what's happening, and um, you can put pictures. It's not an English type essay. Three times you use the same two types of crust, but switch the left and right sides. What do you observe about the results? Is the side the crust placed on important? Hopefully, you realize that it wasn't important. Look for patterns in density, subduction, and volcanoes. When volcanoes form, on which plate do they always form? They always form on the less dense plate. Um, now, let's look at continental young ocean and continental old ocean. So we did these ones. So continental, and I'm going to do old ocean first. Continental old ocean. Let's let that play. And I know we saw that, and we know the answer about subduction. But what I want you to pay attention to right now is this angle right here. I want you to pay attention to the steepness of this angle and where it's headed. And I want you to pay attention to this distance from the water. How far are these volcanoes in? And if I go ahead and I do the same thing and I use continental crust and I use young ocean crust, because that last one was old ocean, and we let this one play out, look at this angle. It's much different. That first one dropped down almost to this corner. So this is a much less steep angle. And my distance of my volcanoes is much further away. So that change in density changes the uh, way it subducts. Uh, so we noticed that how's the difference in the angle subduction. We looked at the difference in the volcanoes distance. Um, and then investigate divergent boundaries. So let's put some crusts up and look at that. If I put some continental and some continental, and now I'm going to put those labels in so that we can see. Now it's telling us continental, continental. And we're going to try some divergent boundaries. Let's see what happens. Okay, as they move apart, they make young ocean crust in between them. So when you diverge, let's try. What if I have old ocean crust and old ocean crust, and they're now going to be divergent? Let's see what happens. Old ocean and old ocean. And that forms young ocean crust in between. And then let's try what happens if we have young ocean and we have young ocean. Let's see what happens there. That'll play out. And it'll make well, younger ocean, but more young ocean crust. So it, all divergent plate boundaries generate young ocean crust. And then transform boundaries. Let's try this with continental and continental. And we want to describe that um, way that it moves. So we can see those two sliding. Our example is San Andreas Fault in California. Um, and you can see them slide 
um, sort of parallel to each other. Difficult to describe in words, so feel free, like I said, to draw those arrows or to draw a small sketch if you have to answer a question in the essay portion um, about this.